Good morning, welcome back to Costa Tex Pina. We're on build date number 205. We're gonna walk you through the backyard this morning. Um, you guys are, all the uh, labor folks are here on site, our general labor crew. Um, so we're gonna walk you around and show you where everybody's at today. And let's get started. through starting from the backyard today um, the foreman is still continuing with the uh, tile here on the back porch and his assistant here mr. Jason helping him along Let's go ahead and take a walk through the garage we've got carpenters and varnishers and finish door finishers um, so we're working on the pieces that Mr. Allen needs for the uh, cornice on the cove ceilings and Mr. Henry and Mr. Andy are still doing uh, doors so sanding and filling or filling and sanding <coughs> and here in Mr. Uh, Chokoy is still continuing with the Mr. Chokoy was finishing roughing in some electrical outlets in the uh, dirty kitchen. Uh, here, Mr. JR is doing some more masillas in the kitchen area. And our carpenter, Mr. Allen, is putting in the, uh, he has finished here with the cove uh, ceiling, uh, the cornice going all the way around and starting to put some masillas in the corners uh, to fill in the joints. Uh, between the different pieces and get it prepped for painting. Stanley out here in the front uh, doing some more uh, second, coat, so, uh, second coat of skim coat on the uh, front entranceway and some of the uh, stonework so that it all blends together nicely. Let's go ahead and continue here to the back in the guest bedroom side. All right, here in the staircase stairwell, uh, Mr. Wilson is still working on the treads, the tread plates. So we've got them on the main four piece down here on the landing. And he is still continuing to work uh, from the top, working his way down with the kick plates on the front. Take a quick moment. And we have Mr. Jojo and Mr. Ramos doing the tiling for the water closet or the uh, throne room. And over here inside, we got Mr. Gel and Mr. Uh, Lloyd who are working on Masia's sanding and getting ready for paint. Well, Pierce was experiencing some slight technical difficulties today with the microphone. So uh, here in the master bedroom, Mr. Allen is continuing with the backing boards for the cove ceiling. Uh, so around the cove trays, uh, the ceilings up there, he's put in these boards um, that he's going to attach the cornice work to. Uh, here's a couple of them over here on the floor. As you can see, it's got the, the flat panel on the bottom and the short piece out on the top so that he can attach the cornice there. Mr. Gozo's moving along pretty quickly. Small space in the bathroom. He's almost done with the, the water closet area. Putting in the dry pack for that last set of couple of sets of tiles. Alright, coming up into the media room. Uh, Mr. Ferdy, one of our other carpenters, is starting to install the baseboard you see here along the bottom edge, the gray board. Uh, and that will go all the way around the bottom of the floor, uh, around the entire room. My granite guys are back today, and today we're putting in the 20 centimeter backsplashes. All right. Back 
out here on front our painters mr lloyd and mr ricky are redoing the uh, some of the um the fence grills uh, doing a little bit more touch up so they had done the initial coat of primer uh several weeks ago so now they're going back and catching some of the spots that they uh, that need a, a second look a little bit of touch and then a little bit of attention and then uh, we'll get this prepped ready for another round of paint all right here in the master bath in the water closet area uh, mr jojo has completed all of the tile on the floor uh, with the exception of this small little piece here at the doorway and they'll uh, so that's what it looks like nice even finished and out here in the garage area um, both of our French doors are almost ready for varnish. Mr. Andy here tells me that these two doors will be, varnish, will be ready for their first two coats of clear coat varnish uh, tomorrow. So they've already done all of the sanding and filling and staining and it is ready for varnish or clear coat as they like to call it. Moving on into the dirty kitchen area, Mr. Chalks is still working the um, electrical conduit there. Uh, looks like he's just about got it all plaster coated back in and Mr. Stanley is going behind him and starting to do the skim coating to cover it back up so we can get it painted again. And coming back out into the breakfast nook area. We had a chance to get the sample of our paint that we're going to use for all of the walls uh, pretty much throughout the house. Um, it is a light gold. It is semi-gloss. Kind of hard to see from this angle. There you go. That's the angle. It is semi-gloss. It's just hard to see in the low light area uh, in the house. It is kind of overcast today. Uh, so it's affecting some of the pictures. And continuing on back into the rest of the house um, we have completed the cove ceilings uh, so the engineer tells me those those colors are going to be with an off-white color um, around the door casings the cove around the top and then we're going to do flat white plain white on the ceiling so it'll have a differentiation of the colors between the light gold on the walls the um, off-white on the window casings door casings and the um, paint on the ceiling. Uh, down the hallway here we are continuing to work uh, the baseboards and if you can look right there in the middle of the screen where Mr. Willie just came out of the room uh, they are continuing to work the floor tile in the uh, powder room. So here as soon as I get by Mr. Ferdy. All right and this is what they're starting to work on first uh, they're going to just get started with it today um, most likely not going to get finished with any of this today they will just get started and get it prepped for working on tomorrow moving into bedroom number two um, mr alex is placing the backing boards for all of the cove ceiling uh, so that the cornice will have something to attach to so he's working his way around here all right, spoiler alert, mic problems continued throughout the day. Uh, these gentlemen are, are, are granite installers, and what they're working on right now is called a double riser. Um, it, they take the epoxy, put it on, they've got the small edge over the, the top, and then they uh, take the longer piece behind it uh, to create the edge of the cabinet spacing. Uh, let's go take a look on the inside at the piece that is already completed and I can show you a little bit better uh, perspective of what it was I was trying to describe. So right here on the end of the kitchen, uh, this is called a double riser. So you've got the first piece that comes over uh, where the top connects to the outside edge and they chamfer the corners. And then you have the extended uh, piece of granite on the bottom or quartz in this case. And it, this is called the double riser. So it gives that finished appearance on the uh, end of it. Taking a peek inside of the master bedroom, 
Mr. Allen is working his way around with the cove ceiling again. Um, still working the pieces in the corners, getting the joints together. And once he gets done, they're going to start doing what Mr. JR here is doing and put in the uh, Macias um, around the outside edges, uh, filling in the, the differences between the uh, wood and the ceiling. Um, also filling in the, uh, the pieces, the joints uh, between the, the different pieces of cornice. Uh, they're going to get this prepped for, uh, they'll prep it and get the base coat of paint on it probably tomorrow. They should be working on this for, for a little while. All right, all right. Here we go again. Uh, back porch, Mr. Marlin, our foreman, is continuing to work the tiles. Um, so he's going to continue the rest of the way down into the garage area, right up to the door. Um, he may not make that today, but that is the direction he's working on. While the engineer was out earlier today, uh, they were talking about going ahead and ordering the extra tiles that he needs to be able to um, finish the tile on the front edge so that it looks exactly like what's on the front porch uh, where the same pattern continues from the top to the side. All right, so back on the job. Everybody's uh, focusing on Macias and baseboards. So we got baseboards going all down the hallway and starting to work their way around that way. Uh, when the engineer came by, he said the first thing he wants to see done is have all the baseboards put in um, if everybody shows up tomorrow. So we'll see how many people show up, um, depending upon weather, of course. Taking a look at the weather report, courtesy of Joint Typhoon Weather Center. Um, this is <clears throat> Typhoon Ulysses, as it's known here in the Philippines, or VAMCO in the international name. Um, it looks like it's going to be heading over the top of Angeles City and Clark Air Base area at approximately 20 hours Zulu, which means about 4 a.m. in the morning for us. We should be seeing a max winds of about 75 to 90 knots uh, overnight. So they're starting to work on the baseboards. Coming around. And Mr. Mr. Allen here has finished the code the cove ceiling installation here in the, master, the master bedroom so the uh, granite workers that were that are all hanging out waiting for the ride um, they went ahead and pulled the top off of this one uh, because the engineer came in and looked at it and says you know what the sink is not in the right position we're going to relocate the sink so when we relocate the sink, that means all the granite on the top has to be reaccomplished from the beginning to the end. So the sink is going to move to the right, probably about six to eight inches, so that it the left side will fall directly underneath the uh, cabinetry up above. So he's doing that. We're going to scoot it over. It'll still end up within the bottom of the base here. And then they'll uh, start working on that with a brand new piece of granite um, once that arrives on site most likely not tomorrow so that's uh, what they're working on well, I had a really nice closing here I was showing you the rain that was going on my mic cut out again um, so the uh, guys have done a good job today um, they're getting prepped right now getting ready to put things away for preparation for the uh, typhoon that's coming overnight so if y'all like today's video where am i at oh there we are if y'all like today's video please give us a big thumbs up if you'd like to see more of these videos hit the costa text pina star right over here and you'll be subscribed hit the bell icon just below the view screen you'll be notified of our next video upload for your viewing pleasure so until we see you again tomorrow have a great afternoon and god bless